Hi. Now in this video we are going to see how we can become a successful smart contract developer. So let us see. Now before talking about smart contract development, first we have to understand what is a smart contract. A smart contract is simply a program written on a blockchain. So like you create programs in C, C++, Java, Python, right? In the same way, smart contract is also a program. The only difference is that you write this program on a blockchain. Okay, so this is a simple definition of a smart contract and do not be confused with this smart contract term. Okay, this is a simple programming language that you're using for blockchain. And what are the different smart contract? And what are the different smart contract programming languages? So every blockchain has its own programming language for creating the smart contract. So if we talk about Ethereum, Ethereum uses Solidity as a smart contract programming language. If we talk about Solana blockchain, it uses Rust as a programming language for creating of smart contract. And there are various blockchains that supports Python, Java. So all these different blockchains supports different programming languages. There are blockchains that support multiple programming languages. Okay. Now in this video, our focus will be on Ethereum blockchain. Definitely the concept that I'm going to discuss will be applicable for other blockchain as well. But in this, our focus will be mainly on Ethereum because this is one of the most famous blockchain and one of the most, most used blockchain. So let's start. Now to understand the roadmap of smart contract developer, it is very, very important to understand what is the difference between a smart contract and a program created by any other programming languages like, you know, C, C++, Java. So if you are creating a traditional program for your server or for your website, so how these programming languages and how this is smart contract program are two different things. Because if you will understand this, it will be very easy for you to become a successful smart contract developer because then you will be knowing what are the do's and what are the don'ts. So if we talk about a smart contract program, right? A smart contract program is immutable. Now, what do I mean by that? Once you will deploy your smart contract on the blockchain, you cannot change it. Yes, you cannot change it. It doesn't matter. It, it is having some vulnerability or it is having some bugs. Once it is deployed to the blockchain on the blockchain, actually, you cannot change your smart contract. If you talk about any other programming languages, uh, let's say if you, if you have created a server or let's say if you have created a website, you can change the program, right? You can make some changes to your program. But in the case of a smart contract, once a smart contract is deployed on the blockchain, you cannot change it. It doesn't matter whether it is having some, you know, some issues or some problem, you cannot change it. So this is the first thing that you have to understand that how smart contract is different from any other normal program. Second thing, if you are creating a smart contract, you are paying for every single line of code that you are writing. For every single line of code, you have to pay some fees. Now, if you talk about traditional programs, right, you do not have to do that. Uh, like definitely you can have a vast, you know, definitely it is a good advice that you shouldn't, your code should have, you know, minimum number of codes, but you are not actually paying for those number of codes, right? If you talk about uh, for, uh, for a traditional program, but in a smart contract program, you have to pay for every single line of code that you are writing. Now, this also makes smart contract different from any other programs. So first thing, immutability means once you deploy this smart contract, you cannot change it. Second thing, you are going to pay for every single line of code. Remember these two things. Now we are going to discuss how to become a successful smart contract developer. So first thing of becoming a successful smart contract developer is to understand the blockchain infrastructure for which you are creating your smart contract. Because if you will understand the blockchain infrastructure, you can save huge amount of money of your organization. Or let's say if you are you know, running a blockchain startup, then you can save huge amount of money. Because as we have discussed, right, in a smart contract, you are going to pay for every single line of code. But if you will understand the blockchain infrastructure for which you are creating your smart contract, then it will be very easy to save gas. Because then you will be knowing in which type of environment your smart contract is going to run. So first thing is 
understand the blockchain infrastructure. So if you are creating a smart contract for Ethereum, then understand Ethereum blockchain infrastructure. If you are creating a smart contract for your Solana blockchain, then understand Solana blockchain infrastructure. It will be very helpful in order to create an optimized smart contract. Second thing is that you need to create secure smart contract. Because as we discussed, right, that once you will deploy the smart contract on a blockchain, you cannot change it at all. And just imagine that your smart contract is having some vulnerabilities. Now, these vulnerabilities can be easily exploited and you can be hacked. So you have to be very, very, very much careful whenever you are creating a smart contract. It needs to meet all the security measures. And if you will not do that, you will be in a trouble like situation like the DAO. So DAO, which was one of the first ICO on the Ethereum blockchain, it got exploited because the smart contract was having some vulnerabilities and the hacker was able to drain millions of amount of dollars or I will say tokens because of the smart contract vulnerability. So you have to be very much careful. Now, how you can do that right now? The second question is how we can create a secure smart contract. First thing you have to work on your logic building. Your logic building should be strong whenever you are creating a smart contract. Second thing is you have to test your smart contract. Unit testing of your smart contract is very necessary. Definitely. I am not saying all kind of testing is necessary, but unit testing is also one of the most important thing whenever you are creating a smart contract. So learn unit testing and for unit testing, you can use Mocha framework. Truffle also provides you with Truffle contract library with the help of which you can test your smart contract before deploying on the blockchain. Third thing is that you need to create optimizable smart contract. Now, what do I mean by optimizable smart contract? Means you need to create a smart contract that doesn't consume huge amount of gas. Now, gas is a common terminology in Ethereum. You can think of gas as you know, like whenever, as I said, right, for every single line of code you are paying, right? So you have to create a smart contract that doesn't consume huge amount of money, you know, that doesn't consume a lot of money. Look, let me give you an example for this. So on your screen, you can see that there are two smart contracts created in Solidity programming language. This is smart contract one and this is smart contract two. I know if you are not familiar with Solidity, then it might look complicated, but let me explain you this program. This is a very simple program. I'm just taking modulo of a number three okay so i'm just taking modulo of a number three so in this if you will see i have an integer data type and then b equal to three and i'm simply i'm simply taking a number that is a and i'm just doing a modulo three so it will return as the remainder remainder uh, uh, like whenever a if a is let's say 10 so the remainder when divided by 3 will be 1 right in the same way this same program is also doing the same thing so both of these programs are doing the same thing but one of these programs is an optimized smart contract so take a pause and let me know in the comment section which of the following smart contract is an optimized smart contract means which of the following smart contract will consume less amount of gas or in simple word, which of the following smart contract will consume less of your money? Okay, so give me your answer in the comment section and then again, play me back. So I hope you have tried, right? So if you talk about both of these smart contracts, smart contract one and smart contract two, this is smart contract two is an optimized smart contract. While this is smart contract one is not an optimized smart contract. So this is smart contract one will consume much more amount of gas or I will say much more amount of money. Why? Because in this we are declaring a variable B, which is not needed, right? You are just declaring a variable uh, in this smart contract. You can clearly see I can use three directly, right? But I'm declaring one more variable. So I'm adding one extra line of code to my smart contract. So as I said, you have to pay for every single line of code. So definitely this smart, this smart contract will consume much more gas. This smart, will, smart contract will consume much more money. Okay. Now let us discuss some points related to the smart contract point of view. Whenever you are creating a smart contract, what are the things that you need to keep in mind when you are creating a smart contract? First thing, always create a readable smart contract. Do not try to make your smart contract complicated because the, the thing with the smart contract is right that once it is deployed, you cannot change it. And let's say you are providing this smart contract to your team members. And if your team members are not able to understand your smart contract, then they will make some mistake. And in that case, again, you will be having a huge amount of loss. So always create a readable smart contract, right? So that 
let's say if you are creating a decentralized application what is a decentralized application so when you create a front end and you integrate this front end with your smart contract and what you get is a decentralized application right so let's say if your tree member is working on a decentralized application and your smart contract is not readable in nature then this integration will not be proper and the decentralized application that you will be deploying on the blockchain can be easily hacked right so remember this also second point is always try to use libraries and interfaces so ethereum community has provided you with a lot of interfaces like for arc20 token we have erc20 interface for erc721 we have an irc721 interfaces so always use these interfaces because these are try and tested interfaces second thing is try to use libraries like open zipline library provided you with a lot of beautiful you know libraries you can use those libraries whenever you are creating your smart contract do not try to create everything from scratch because chances are very high that your smart contract will have some vulnerability so it's better to always use libraries and interfaces if they are provided by a official community official company remember third learn the concept of object oriented programming languages it will be very helpful in creating a good structured smart contract so you should understand how interfaces work you should understand how libraries work it will be very helpful when you will be creating a smart contract fourth and the most important point is be updated guys because things in the blockchain world are changing at a very fast rate and if you are not updated with the latest trends with the latest you know programming language version or compiler version chances are high that you are using a smart contract programming language of older version which might have some vulnerabilities so be updated try to read the documentation try to be you know updated by the newsletters so be updated in the blockchain community on whatever technology you are working on be updated otherwise you might miss something which will actually lead you to a million dollar loss of money right and i think you do not want that so keep learning be updated and for that you can subscribe to this channel i'm regularly going to provide you new blockchain courses on this channel if you have any doubts or query you can comment below this video if you want to directly interact with me you can come to instagram or you can be on linkedin or twitter wherever you want you can directly message me and i will answer you your queries there so thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye and do not forget to like share and subscribe